In today's video, we are going to talk about the issues with the Ford 500. And I know you guys might be asking about the Mustang. It's going to be back, I promise. Uh, but you just gotta wait for uh, it'll be back. Uh, I promise the Mustang will be back uh, in the videos. So, anyways, like I was saying, we're going to be talking about the Ford 500 issues, and I'm gonna go over them uh, kind of quick. And that's pretty much today's video. So stick around, don't go away. Uh, so we're back guys. And I just want to let you guys know some of the issues this car has. Um, as you can see, it has a little bit of paint, uh, paint going, um, well, it's basically all the clear coat is gone on this. Uh, windshield is cracked. Uh, that is pretty beat up. It doesn't have any more color anymore. It's going to need new tires and this is all uh clear coat is gone and uh, i mean other than that it's pretty decent it has no doesn't seem to have any crashes as if i can remember so everything is is still good um but you can see that it's kind of starting to looks like rust but it's really not it's just the color of the paint just kind of went away uh what else what other issues um i hooked it up to my um set tuner device it was giving me something about an EGR valve and uh, the transmission as well. So that's, those are the things that are wrong with this. You see how it's kind of peeling off here. Those are the things that are wrong with this car. And um, we're going to try to get them fixed. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, and here's why. This is mainly going to be a daily driver. It's not going to be uh, something that's going to be... Um, like kind of like for the channel uh, i'm not saying it's gonna be i mean unless it'd be pretty cool to swap it out from the engine and do all that stuff but i mean i don't have the money i don't pull in the views and i don't have the money to do it so it's it just economically it doesn't make sense right now at all but uh anyways guys that's what we're gonna do with this car we're just gonna at least get it to run for now oh yeah and then the headlights they look super uh foggy there you can see um but other than that the cars is in pretty okay condition from the inside as you guys saw in the previous video uh the brakes i'm not sure how they are so we'll, we'll check all that and eventually we'll be making videos with this it will come out of the channel if you guys i'm so, i know i'm sorry it's a mustang channel but i promise you guys the mustang's gonna be back mustang needs something so that's why we're we're kind of like doing this uh but uh stay tuned for that the mustang needs something uh now so uh, and then back here, if you guys can see back there, we have a 67 Mustang. And let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that one uh, revived. Of course, it wouldn't be a full restoration. It would be a full restoration, right? But uh, it would just be something like um, more in the, like a resto mod, not full resto mod. Uh, because like I said, I don't have the full views, but let me know what you guys would like in, in the comments down below to see with that with this car uh it is a 67 and it is kind of beat up so you guys can see there the, the tires have no air uh but anyways well i'll make another video on this as well so i won't give too many details away uh but yeah guys uh we'll, uh here's the four five hundred we're gonna get some of those issues uh ironed out and hopefully it'll become a, a daily dr uh, driver <laughs> so anyways guys that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, share, subscribe. We'll be getting back on a regular schedule. We'll be taking the Mustang to the track. It's not this weekend. It's kind of like looking like it might rain and I don't want to travel all the way over there and then it rains and then I'm not going to get to run, uh, you know, because it is about an hour away from me. And actually, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but you know, that's one of the biggest issues that gets me like it's an hour away. I have to go all the way over there uh, on the radials because I don't have a trailer. And therefore I haven't gone to the track. That's that's one of the main reasons. And then the time is too like, uh, it might rain that weekend or or whatever. So that was what was happening. But for sure, for sure, hopefully next weekend, uh, next weekend, if there's no rain, I will be taking the Mustang to the track uh, and see what it puts down. Because we, you know, we just have to find out what it puts down at the current state that it's in. Because after that, uh i'm going to we're going to step it up further on the horsepower uh with that mustang as well so stay tuned for that guys anyways that's all for today leave a like share subscribe all that good stuff uh hit the notification bell button guys that'll really help out the channel